Let's face it, only a few VPN services actually care about your privacy. But what if you could gear up with one that's entirely yours, custom built, fully secure, and completely private? Well, today we're setting up your very own VPN with Tailscale. And you won't believe how easy it is to get up and running in just a few minutes. Ready to build something powerful? Let's get right into it. Sure, building your own VPN sounds like something only super techy people can do, right? But what if I told you it's actually something you can do without spending hours banging your head against the wall? Today I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your own VPN with Tailscale, a decentralized VPN service. It allows you to create secure connections between your devices no matter where you are. And the best part, it is free for personal use with up to 100 devices. Now, if you end up liking Tailscale and decide to upgrade to a paid plan later, then you can support our channel by using our links down in the description box below. The beauty of Tailscale is that it's all decentralized, meaning there is no single point of failure. Your data stays private, your devices are connected, and the traffic never leaves your control. Perfect for anyone who's serious about keeping their browsing locked down. So we're gonna cover everything, setting up on both your computer and phone, building your own network and routing your traffic securely, testing if the VPN handles streaming well, comparing connection speeds with and without the VPN, and trust me, the results are going to surprise you. Hi everybody, and welcome back to VPN Mentor, and it's time that you take control of your online privacy. Wanna see the top free VPNs? Well, check out our full video on the best VPNs right here. All right, let's kick things off with installing Tailscale on both your PC and phone. I promise it is super simple. You don't need to be some tech whiz for this part. Head over to Tailscale's website and download the app for whatever device you are using. In my case, I'm installing it on a PC and on my phone. It's available for all usual suspects, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. Once you've installed it, sign in with your Google, Microsoft, or GitHub account. No need to mess around with complicated setups. Tailscale uses single sign-on, or SSO for my fellow tech nerds out there, to make the whole process so much easier. It's basically like magic for linking your devices together. See, no complicated steps, just a few clicks and you're ready to go. Your devices are now connected securely and you can start building out your VPN from here. So we've got Tailscale installed and your devices are talking to each other, so now it's time to set up the exit node. And yeah, I know that exit node sounds really technical, but in reality, it's just a fancy name for the device that will handle all of your internet traffic. It's like your personal VPN server routing everything through one secure point. Step one is to open up the Tailscale app on your PC and go to the exit node section. This is where you'll set up the device that will securely route all of your traffic, acting as a private gateway between you and the internet. Step two is to click on run exit node to turn your computer into the main exit point for all of your traffic. This is the magic part. From now on, all of your internet data will be encrypted and routed through this computer, whether you're on your phone or another device. See, not bad, right? Now, every time you use Tailscale on your phone or any other device for that matter, the traffic will flow securely through this exit node, making sure everything is locked down and private. And here's the cool part. You can set up any device as an exit node. So if you're traveling and you wanna route all of your traffic through your home computer, you can do that. Or if you've got an old device lying around, turn it into an exit node itself. Once the exit node is set up, let's check if it's actually doing its job by running an IP test. Basically, we're going to see if the IP address on your phone is now the same as the one on your PC. And by doing so, this will prove that all of my traffic is now being routed through the exit node that we just set up. On your phone, go into the Tailscale app and choose your PC as the exit node. Then you're gonna run an IP test. I'll use any online IP checker on both devices to see if the IP addresses match. And there you have it. The IP address on my phone is now identical to my PCs, meaning the VPN is working perfectly. All my traffic is securely flowing through the PC's connection. This is a simple but super important step to make sure that your setup is doing what it's supposed to, keeping your traffic encrypted and routing it through your own network, not some third-party service. Okay, now that the VPN is working, let's see if it can actually handle something that we all do, streaming. I'm gonna switch the exit node to my phone and try streaming Netflix on my PC. First, let's switch the exit node from my PC to my phone. I'll disconnect the PC's exit node and set the phone as the new exit node.
Now I'll connect my PC to the phone's tail scale clients and fire up Netflix. And boom, streaming works smoothly, even with my phone acting as the exit node. No noticeable lags and the connection feels secure. But now let's check the actual speed. First up, I'll connect my actual phone as the exit node and run a speed test. And here's what I'm getting, 89.1 megabits per second download and 25 upload, which if that means nothing to you is pretty solid for a mobile connection. But let's see how tail scale performs. When I switch the exit node to my PC, we're seeing 11 megabits megabits per second download and 15 megabits per second upload. There's a noticeable drop, but it's expected since your exit node's connection is the key player here. And finally, without any VPN, the speeds are faster overall as you'd expect. This is a great example of how the exit node's connection directly impacts your VPN speed, better connection, better performance. But keep in mind that these speeds are still plenty enough to browse the web and even stream in full HD. This is something to consider if you're after blazing fast speeds, a traditional VPN service may still perform better, but for privacy and control, Tailscale is the choice because you're just connecting between your own devices. So after going through all of those steps, is it complicated to set up your own VPN? Sure, it's a bit more involved than signing up for the VPN service, but it's definitely not impossible. In fact, once you get the hang of it, it feels pretty empowering to have full control over your secure network. Here's what we found. Streaming works flawlessly, even using a phone as the exit node. Overall, these speeds did have a noticeable drop, especially with the slower exit nodes, but that is to be expected. The setup was a bit more hands-on, but manageable with some patience. And overall, you're just gonna gain full control over your data, no third parties involved, which is ideal for privacy. Now, traditional VPNs are faster and easier, but Tailscale offers a personal secure solution. So if you're someone who values privacy and control above all else, then Tailscale is a fantastic option option, but if speed and convenience are your top priorities, then a premium VPN service might be a better fit for you. They've got dedicated servers built for speed, and let's be honest, they're much easier to set up. At the end of the day, it's all about finding the right balance for your needs. Want privacy and full control? Build your own VPN with Tailscale. Want a quick, hassle-free solution with better speeds? Well, then a traditional service like ExpressVPN will still shine. If you enjoyed setting up your own VPN and are curious about how premium VPN services stack up, make sure to check out our ExpressVPN 2024 review up here. We dive into all of the latest features and updates to see if it still is the best VPN option out there. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to VPN Mentor for more content like this in the future. Leave us a comment if you've set up your own VPN or you're thinking about doing so. I'd love to hear how it worked for you down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching VPN Mentor and as as always, stay safe online.